Hello, hello. I have been using my large labels to make a tag and I thought I would make another one or two and bring you along. Um, they're kind of more of a mixed media piece really. Um, I'm a bit in love with cardboard at the moment so it's all made with cardboard and some watercolour paper, some ink and um, sentiments if you've got them. Could be paper ones really, don't have to be the metal ones. So what I have done is I cut out all my labels and I have mounted them on to cardboard and then cut them out again. I'll just sat in front of the telly doing that. Um, these ones are simple um, mounted. These ones I did go around the edge with modelling paste and painted them brown on the edges. So um, I think we're probably going to use one of these, although I'm not mount, I'm not going to edge the rest of the cardboard. I'm going to leave that plain today. I've cut out some tag shapes. Um, these are, that's still making a noise, isn't it? Um, let's have a look. Um, this is, it's just over seven inches by, I think it's four by four. Um, so let's, well, we don't need any of those at the moment. So I've got some watercolour paper. Um, this is the Arteza paper. It's um, £140 or 300 I am assuming that's GSM. I am not 100% sure what that means, but there's the sizes for you. doesn't really matter because I've cut it down to fit my embossing folders, um, which I also cut down. Um, I'm just going to show you, actually. So... I had, um, I can't remember if these were from a charity shop or whether they were from a car boot sale or somewhere, but they were too big. So I've cut the edge off <laughs> so they fit into my um, my Sizzix, but I'm still keeping these bits because they I can use those as borders. So, okay, I've got my watercolour paper. This is the side that I want and I've got my embossing folder and we need to use the flat, the flatter side. So I'm gonna use, I think, the same color combination um, maybe for this one. We'll do, we'll do two backgrounds. We might only finish one tag, but I'm gonna do two backgrounds. So I, for this piece, I'm using an oxide ink for the first section. So. On the embossing folder I'm taking my oxide and I'm just gonna literally run that all over my embossing folder it's not gonna do any damage there it's really easy to clean this off you can just use water or a baby wipe okay now I'm gonna take my uh, watercolor paper and just give it a couple of sprays of water I'm gonna put that in my folder close that up Put that aside for a second and bring in my my machine thing, Sizzix, big shot. Um, and put that in, and I'm just going to run this through twice. that's part one we don't need that embossing folder again so what I am going to do to this before I do anything else is just see it's still a little bit wet but I'm going to add a couple of sprays of water and I'm going to dry this okay so now I'm going to take a second color ink and I'm going to use um, this is ink, not oxide, and this is weathered wood. And I'm just gonna, I, and I know you get some blending, and I'm not, I'm not fussed about that. I quite like it, so I'm just gonna go over the embossed area with 
another ink and like I said I know I get little bits in here but I'm quite happy with that and I like a little bit of the white left that doesn't bother me either so what I'm going to do is give that another spray and a dry okay so that's pretty dry so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab some water in my hand because I want some bigger drops and flick this onto my piece take my cloth I'm gonna get a bit of blurring and a bit of ink removal and I'm gonna dry this again okay so I'm gonna use two sprays I'm gonna use I'm going to save prize ribbon for later. I'm going to use salvage patina. I don't have a huge amount of colours. I don't have tons and tons and tons, which is, you know, if you think that my colour schemes are always pretty similar, that's because um, I only have a few limited amount of inks. So this is salvage patina spray stain. And then I'm going to use, um, again, it's salvage patina oxide. <laughs> You can use absolutely any colour combination that you have. Okay, that's, I'm quite happy with that, but I do want to get a little bit more of this. I mean, you can see some of the little areas where the oxide is lifted up, but I'm just going to give this another spray. Okay, so that is going to be our background, but I now need to do what I'm going to do on the top. So what I'm going to do is grab my um, embossing folder, pop that into there, and this time I'm not putting any colour on the background because we want a little bit more white. I should have sprayed that still with water, but I didn't. a tiny bit of the yellow on there which is great and this time because yellow was the background on this one I'm going to put yellow on the top of this one okay I'm going to give this a quick dry okay and this time I'm going to go in with a little bit of my oxide and this one is the salvage patina, just here and there, that's plenty. A little spray, and we can see that yellow kind of comes to life a little bit more once we've got the water on it. going to dry this and then last of all I'm going to use the new prize ribbon and this is again an oxide no other reason other than this all is what I have I only bought um, the oxide and the paint in this new color and that is plenty And I'm going to just put those two aside to dry. So this will go on top of that one. Just going to put those aside. Now I have another embossing folder. Which is leaves. Okay. And um, I'm going to speed this up. But I'm going to do exactly the same thing again with this particular folder.
So let's do these two um, first. I'm just gonna give them one final dry because they're still a little bit damp. We just need to cut two more pieces of cardboard and I'm just gonna pick, I'm gonna do the two last large ones I think. So I'm gonna do those, although I might, actually I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the two dragonflies. Um, these are both ones that I have because I think we'll have the green butterfly on there and then the blue dragonfly, sorry, on there. So those are our kind of combinations. I'm gonna put those aside for a minute and that. So what we want is we want two pieces of cardboard that are a little bit wider than our label, but not as wide as the tag and a little bit of height. So let me grab a piece of cardboard and my ruler. So this is about three and a, what's it, inches, three and a quarter. I'm gonna make my cardboard three and a half inches by four, maybe four and a half, yeah. I'm gonna go three and a half by four and a half. Okay, so these are for our first tag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm using art glitter glue for this because I finally got it to work. It's very warm, very, very warm. We've got quite a dull day here too, so I'm wondering if we've got a storm coming. The weather doesn't say so, but um, they're quite infamous for being wrong here in the UK. I'm gonna use this section over here. push it down. I don't want to push it down too much because I don't want to flatten any of my embossing. And then this piece, I, I'd like this piece here, so over these, this kind of area here. These are very quick and easy to make tags. Um, and I've been asked quite a lot what you would do with these kind of mixed media tags. Um, well, lots of things. Um, they would certainly go on the front of a journal. So that's an option. You could also um, just display them as they are. I've got a few now on pin boards and things around my craft space. They make fantastic happy mail. So you can send them as a gift. So I'm just gonna cut around these pieces. I'm keeping these fairly simple. Um, so we're still getting a textured tag, but with a lot less um, materials and things than some of the other tags that I have made recently. And the great thing about these is you can put them on a pin board quite easily because they are not as heavy as you think they are going to be. They look a lot heavier than they are. Once you pick them up, you realise how light they are because they are cardboard. So we're saving the planet. Saving the planet too. Okay, so um, I think they look pretty awesome on top of each other like that. And then we've got that pop of blue too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I kind of double ink these. I've got my vintage photo and it's over here in my little Cory, Cory box. So I'm using my brush. I'm going to use vintage photo around the edge or you could spray varnish them you could do whatever you like but i'm assuming people are not going to dip these into water so i am just going to go around the edge with ground espresso to give it a bit of a darker edge happy with that um, and I forgot to do my little, my little do my flip what's it. So um, I've got some blue I think there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to use this one. I mean there's already water, kind of watercolour staining on the tag itself. But I'm just going to give it a few drops of this too. But I don't want to get the wings. Ah, oh, that was pants. 
absolutely pants. Okay, right. It's very heavily inked dragonfly now. That's okay, what can we do? something at the top there balance that out a bit there we go and maybe down here okay at least I would say at least it's oxide but this is a very different oxide to the others this is a very bright <laughs> just go with it oh and that was actually black soot so even more of a booby woohoo anyway that's what it looks like now that's okay let me just change my color thread now okay I was going to use the, the paler one again but let's not worry about that now okay so I'm gonna cut off some thread and I'm going to double wrap this, if I've got enough, around my larger piece. So up, across. No, I'm going to need a bigger bit. The best laid plans. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? See, I've got myself all in a, mu in a muddle now, in a kerfuffle. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. I just need enough to not, so hopefully that's okay. Ooh. I'm gonna. Oh, I don't know what that was. I'm gonna grab my glue. <laughs> you know what it's like. One thing goes wrong, everything goes wrong. I'm put a little bit here and here, and just tuck those down. Okay, so <clears throat> we're gonna have this in the middle. This will go here. Um, I'm actually quite liking that now. What I might do, actually is just to tie it in even more. Something's going down around here. We've got police cars going past like lightning. This wasn't quite the look I was going for. Not quite, but it's what we've got now. Okay, piece of cardboard that will do us. <clears throat> For those we need one more that side and I've got my lovely little stash of cardboard bits here okay and we need a piece for that will be fine okay before I do that I'm gonna find a brad to go into my dragonfly There we go. I mean, you don't have to do this. But of course, you don't have to do any of this. You don't have to ink the embossing folders either. You can do those much more simply at the end if you wish. Ink, ink them as you would normally do. And this could all be done with just a patterned paper. It doesn't even have to be embossing folders. Okay, so I'm going to put these on here. Sorry, starting to work a little bit more on my lap there. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. <clears throat> this one I'm going to have to hold for a moment. Perfect. Almost perfect. You hold that for a bit longer. Uh, this is where this it was doing this that I got this one a little bit on the walk. <laughs> I mean, obviously you could put cheesecloth on underneath. You could put all sorts of things. Um, I just wanted to keep these ones a bit simple because I think that um, the labels are pretty enough and the embossing kind of stands out enough for me. Okay, that's done. Now, this particular piece, if I just guess where I'm going to pop that, um, I'm going to put a hole in the top and I'm not going to put an eyelet or anything into this at all. I'm just going to put a hole in. Grab my little Tim Holt Bits tin, um, and I'm kind of like really trying not to use these because um, it's all I've got, and I want to keep them forever and ever and ever. Um, embrace imperfection because this tag is certainly not perfect, so that works really well. And I'm just going to grab another couple of brads, and this size is perfect. I bet I don't find another one like that. I think those are the same. <clears throat> right, so put him into place. Put this here. I'm going to go into the middle of there as best I possibly can. And just make these a little bit bigger. And then pop that on there. Whoops, that would have been another boo boo. Quite a big one. <laughs> Let's try and put this on the right way up. And I'm using these smaller brads because. Um, these holes are quite small and if you use a bigger brad it goes over the the text so if you wanted to you could back this now if you wanted to back it um, before you put anything into the top there um, which I'm going to do now it's quite a nice piece just gonna chop that off. Use my pokey tool. And I'm gonna go through the from the front on this one. A little piece of green. I'm going to tuck that under there. The hole is not big enough to put two, two through really. But I actually quite like this sticking out in kind of different directions, so that works perfectly for me. Things sticking out, imperfections, and I actually find this dries much, much quicker than the Fabri-Tac on the cardboard obviously because it's very porous the cardboard um, I don't know if that has a part to play because obviously it's for fabric and Fabri-Tac is very porous too um, but it just seems to kind of grab a lot quicker so let me just double check that straight hold this into place for a moment cool very bright this reminds me of Artie Mays it's Andrea Colours Andrea colours <laughs> love it love it so that's two done um obviously they're very similar color scheme wise so let's do this one um i am going to make this fast so it's exactly the same principle as the previous one but i'm going to show you me making it anyway here we go
Okay, so these two are now done. Oh, I love them, love them. I really do. Um, but I forgot to put my, my gilding wax on, so I'm going to wax these a little bit because it's just love the gold. Got to put some on. So I'm going to go round. And there we are, we are done. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, obviously the previous video where we made some labels and did some painting, you could absolutely use those. You don't have to have this particular digital kit. Um, I will see you all again soon with something different. No more tags for a little while. I think we've done, we've done quite a few tags. So um, I will be working on something else. I will see you all really soon. Bye.